Okay, everybody. I hope everybody out there is doing well. We got some fun stuff to rip today. One of my favorites. We got some Topps Heritage Value Packs. These have been eh, up and down for us. Uh, the first time we opened them was crazy. We hit the red O'Neill Cruise. That is a beauty. Gotta love hitting one of the top guys, especially numbered to 573. Now there are lower numbered parallels of this guy and Wander Franco in this set, but I will definitely take one to 573 and the card is in beautiful condition. There's no chipping or anything around the edges, which is very hard to come by. So very happy with that. I bought this hot box refractor because we haven't hit a hot box yet. Um, but we have a ton of packs. I think I got 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. 14 packs. That's all that they had left at Walmart, and I bought them all. Um, the last time we opened these, it wasn't very great. I think we got like three rookie cards. We got zero parallels, and we got like one high number of some guy I'd never even heard of. So... Uh, let's hopefully do better than that this time. Um, we did just open a Prism Hobby box for baseball. And then we opened a Donruss Hobby box for baseball that just came out. And we pulled some pretty cool stuff out of those boxes, guys. So I'm going to do a quick run through. If you guys missed that, you guys should go back and check out that video. These are super short print, uh, similar to the Color Blast. These are the Electric College Stars. And that is the first round pick for the New York Yankees, Trey Sweeney. And we hit two golds in that box. An Addison Barger, a Kai Bush, and then my favorite auto, the Jordan Lawler. We got a Ryan Spikes. I mean, I just opened some boxes, guys. I just wanted to show you this. Look at all the color in this unlicensed stuff. It's so much fun to open. Um, that's what I've been going for lately, man. It's like, yes, you can buy these really expensive boxes and uh, you can hit big, you know, on those expensive boxes. And it's all licensed and they'll be worth more. But how much fun is it when you spend 500 on a hobby box and you lose it all? You know, like the new Bowman that just came out. I'm really pissed about that price because I wanted to buy some hobby boxes of that. But I'm not sure I really want to buy in at $400 a box. Um, we did hit this super sweet Wander Franco in the Don Russ Hobby Box, numbered out of 999. That is a Marvel's SP insert. Now, I did watch quite a few boxes get opened, and I did not see any Wander parallels get pulled. Um, I'm sure if you guys watch some case breaks, you'll see it, but I got very, very lucky for a single box. Um, we also hit the King Griffey Senior autograph. Pretty cool. We hit the Juan Soto out of 249, Unleashed. So that's the Unleashed, but the blue parallel, which is lower numbered. We hit the King Griffey Jr. out of 99, and the Walker Bueller. The Luis Frias, Rated Rookie Red, Jose Siri, uh, Will Smith, Xander, Cattell Marte, Joey Votto, Stevenson, Winker, Stroman, Scooble, McCovey couple nickname variations. I pulled out the other ones, the Trout, the Otani that we hit. We hit an Otani um, that was really, really sweet insert. Those are all PC cards, so I put those out already. So those were just the ones I had off to the side here. But if you guys have not seen those videos, go check it out. I also put the link to the 300 subscriber giveaway in the description of every video. But if you want to go to that link, all you got to do is leave a comment and like that video to be entered. Um, and when you guys do that, if you look below this video right now and you see subscribe in red letters, that means you need to hit that button, guys, because if it's still red, that means if I draw your name in the giveaway, I'll have to pick somebody else. So just making that known. If you guys like what I'm doing... You guys like watching me open packs? Support me a little bit just by hitting that like button. I'm not asking for any kind of money or anything. All I'm asking for is just for you to take one second, 
hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more stuff, hit that little bell. Pretty simple stuff. It's free for you guys, and it helps me out a lot. It helps new people see my videos. It helps inspire me to spend more money and rip some cool stuff. I try to give away stuff every time I get 100 subscribers, and we're almost at 400 already, which I'll be doing another giveaway. So it's going to be crazy. I've been really high on Jazz and Jesus Sanchez lately, and uh, so I've been buying up. Anytime I see these rookie lots like this, guys, I've been pulling the trigger. These are some first Bowman Chrome cards here of Jazz. A cool Prism Refractor, which I didn't have one of these. And a base, you know. I think I paid 15 bucks for that lot, which is a killer deal, man. I truly believe that this kid is going to be like the next Ronald Acuna Jr., man. He's got that swag. He is a very talented hitter at the plate. His defense definitely is all right. He could use some work, but, you know, we're nitpicking at that point. Ooh, baby. Do you guys think we're going to do better than last time? I don't know. This was pretty damn rough last time. We did not do well. I straight lost 50 bucks last time, pretty much. And like I said before, guys, I'm not trying to make money on this stuff. I am just trying to make sure I get my value. Steven Strasburg. David Peralta. This is pack number one. Let's get some luck. Matt Verling, first rookie there. I only have one. One Wander Franco rookie card from Heritage. We do have two of his New Age performers from this set, but I have like four O'Neill Cruises. So I would love to hit a Wander base. I've opened a lot of this stuff, and I've only pulled one, so... I mean, obviously, we're looking for those Wander Parallels and O'Neill Cruz Parallels, but Josh Lowe, another great rookie. I don't remember pulling him in here, either. Robbie Grossman. And it looks like we're not even going to get a high number in this one, man. I hope this is not like last time, guys. Last time we had a rough pack opening. Harold Ramirez. Pack one in the books, two rookies, and a new age performers of Jazz Chisholm is in our first pack there. All right, it's pack number two. I am loving Topps retail, though, man. I will tell you what. Compared to buying a hobby box, guys, of Series 1 or Heritage, I am noticing we get way more parallels per dollar in the retail stuff, which is crazy. Trying to get better at making sure. What I tend to do is look at the cards and not look through the camera. So I apologize. I had somebody bring that to my attention, so I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to start trying to watch the camera. Max Kranich. It's a Trey Turner Whit Merrifield. There's a Vidal Brujan. I wouldn't mind hitting a uh, parallel of him either. His stuff doesn't sell for much, though, you know? Jazz. Solaire, who has had a really rough start. I hope he's going to pick it up. He's one of my favorite players. Matt Manning. And I'm still yet to hit an auto. Uh, it's a high number. Still hoping for a crazy hit. But Miguel and Duar. That's our first high number there. Kepler. Molina. Strikeout leaders. Jake Berger, and Santana. I haven't hit an image variation yet either. For all the stuff we've opened, we have not hit an image variation yet. Let me sleeve up this one high number. I don't remember seeing this guy, which I have pretty much... I'm gonna, At this rate, guys, I'm going to be able to complete the high number set. I've got a lot of them. I think i got like 60 now or something like that, but... Yeah see what we can get here i put that wander up on ebay because I, there wasn't a single one listed not a single one and then just in the last five hours five of them have popped up on there uh one guy listed it really really cheap and 
somebody bought it now for forty dollars which was a dumb move i don't know why you'd do that unless it's just inexperience and undervaluing what you have but i put mine at 150 dollars starting bid and somebody jumped on it immediately and, and bid 150 so that's pretty cool we got a shane baz rookie which is a good one Bo Bichette, Jordan Montgomery, Jose Siri, definitely another top rookie in the set. Clemente, which is just a base, but Dylan Carlson, New Age Performers. Strata, Charlie Morton, Altuve, Andrew Vaughn, Yanni Diaz. This is looking like the last time, guys. See, I keep seeing people put these flip stock cards online, but I, they're saying they're out of five, but none of them are numbered out of five, and none of them say a variation on it, which is weird. I think they're just mistaken, because I'm like, man, it, they had me going back and checking all my cards. I'm like, what? They're not labeled? But I think they're wrong, so don't fall for that, unless you guys know for sure that they're right, because I haven't seen a flip yet. Matt Chapman. I know the Heritage Minor League ones were numbered, so. And we're not even getting a lot of rookies here. Better start getting some luck. Flashbacks card. That is a Harmon Killebrew career highlights cartoon. Not what we're looking for. Joe Ryan. Matt Olson, Max Muncy, Chaz McCormick. We got a very cool Chaz McCormick, guys, coming in the mail. Along with a very cool Jazz, Jesus Sanchez. I got some big cards coming. Wait till you guys see what's coming. Stay tuned if you guys want to see. Man, we're still not getting nothing, guys. This is not looking good. If I open this many packs and we don't get anything good, guys, this might be it. The Boyhood Stars, Mike Trout. See, I hate when I feel like there's something rubbing on the card there. Man, we are striking out again, guys. They had a ton of blasters and hangers, too, which I thought about getting, but I really like the value packs. Same exact cards. What is going on? I like Chaz McCormick, but damn. Damn, damn, damn. This one's got a beeper in it. Let's see if that's a good sign. In our Bowman pack that we hit that auto in had a beeper. It was the only one that had one, and it had the auto in it. Mr. Showtime. Logan Gilbert. If you don't know, you know. That kid is a stud, man. Matt Manning. Ronald Acuna, who came back and... Got a base hit and stole two bases. Ryan flashbacks. Oh, God, guys, this is not good. We haven't even hit a Wanderer or a Cruz yet either. Yikes. All those packs that you've just seen with that one high number, guys, that is rough. Not a good start. These were the last packs there, too, man, so somebody could have picked through them, you know. It's very possible. Rookie outfielders. Sometimes I skip over those and forget that they're like rookie cards, you know. Travis Darno. See, some of these cards look different. I'm going to have to run through the backs, but Steven Piscotti. There we go. The Wander Franco. Let's go. That's our second one. And that's a good one, too. I mean, it's a little thicker border on the left. 
and then you see the bottom edge here how it's kind of got that whitening across it man that's just how it is very hard to find mint cards of him very very difficult can we get something good please the wander is nice but Batting leaders, flashbacks. Man, we're just getting these stupid retail inserts. Salvador Perez. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Well, that was the first stack of packs. Let's get into the second stack here. I think I see something backwards there. And ooh, very nice top pack hopefully that means somebody didn't go through and look at all these you know because that one's centered beautifully it does have a little whitening around the edges but because i'm telling you guys i mean you can kind of see what that top card is right there so if somebody was doing that they would have seen that for sure so hopefully that means nobody was messing with these packs but Right now, these have not been good. Max Cranick. Just because they're not good packs doesn't mean somebody messed with them. That's very possible. Trust me. I've opened a ton of these. Stolen Base Leaders. Vidal Bruhan. Bobby D. Sammy Long. Jermaine. Jazz. Solaire. We got a backwards. We got a backwards. Cody Bellinger. High numbered short print, which we've hit one of him already. Josh Bell. Kyle Lewis. All right. Tons and tons of base. We got one, two, three, six packs left, guys. A couple of high numbers are not going to make this opening worth it. We might have another one here. Might have another high number. Luis Gill, rookie. Key Brian Hayes. Joe Barlow. Luis Terenz. And Matt Carpenter, 402. So, getting a couple high numbers now. We went really, had a long streak of nothing there. And then finally are getting a little bit warmer now at least, but still nothing numbered, still no cool image variations or anything like that. Colton Welker. It's like, I don't understand when they say there's like those action variations, but then you see like somebody in action on the field and it's not one. That's just strange. I think you can only get those in hobby. We got another one. Adam Engel. Can't even get a rookie high number. Kind of hoping for an auto or something, guys. Come on. We need something good. So we ain't got nothing yet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Four packs left. Another beeper. Oh. Mr. Showtime, Gilbert. Man, we're just getting double packs, man. Not even a rookie in this one. Or an insert. What is happening? I 
I'm always wondering, like, maybe they don't flip them backwards? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Not even get a rookie or anything in a fat pack? It's very strange. This might just be one of those bad ones, guys. This might be a bad one. It is what it is. We got another backwards here. We got a Seth Beer. It's nice. He's a good one. Base rookies are not what I'm looking for. I could buy those for two to four dollars each online. Cattell Marte. Tony Stalin. Jacob DeGrom. Gavin Sheets. What do we got here? Max Stassi. Well, looks like we're probably just going to get some high numbers, guys. <laughs> hey. Still haven't pulled an auto, man. And the only auto we did pull was from our freaking hobby box. And it wasn't even an auto. It was just a redemption for this Mason Thompson kid who, when I scratched off the code, I couldn't even read it. So, Luis Farias, rookie. Hans Kraus, rookie. Pulled a couple numbered cards of him in our uh, Donruss box. Rookie pitchers. Ooh, we might have a green. We do have a green. I haven't pulled a green yet. That's good. That's good. Okay. We have action on something here, guys. I was getting worried. Can it be a rookie? Come on. Yankees. Stanton. God, man, we keep hitting Stantons. Ay, ay, ay. Those are to 273, man. You hit a Wander or an O'Neill in that, that would be twice as big as my red. Numbered five of 273. It's a cool card, but man. Let's give a brother a rookie. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Vaughn. It all comes down to this, guys. Last pack magic. Some last pack magic here. Randy. Connor Wong. Adelise Garcia, Emmanuel Classe, Mike Trout, TJ Freed. So then and now of Lou Brock and Trey Turner. Well, guys, that's how it goes sometimes. But, you know. We got lucky in the hobby box, so it just sucks when you spend 70 bucks like that and uh, you strike out. I mean, it wasn't 100% a strikeout because, like, you know, we had gotten a few things here. You know, we got the O'Neill and the Wander, which is nice to get always. And then these are our high numbers that we hit, the Max Stassi. Engel, Carpenter, Cody Bellinger, and Miguel. I'm not going to try to say his last name, but I think what I'm probably going to have to do to start recouping some of this money on this stuff is to put the high numbers like on a little sheet um, and try to fill in the blanks and then sell the complete high number set. I don't know. I don't know what else to do with these. I've got so many high numbers, and I I'm not putting the set together. But if any of you guys are, 
when you guys are needing some, I've got like now probably 70 of them. So we did get the green, Jean Carlos Stanton. It's just unfortunate to uh, get that, you know, instead of uh, anything really good. But lots and lots of retail inserts that are worthless. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anybody buying these? I don't think anybody's putting that set together. It looks like a comic book, you know. But it's always fun to get a nice little stack of rookies here. The Hans Krauss is a good one. Luis Ferraz, we hit a numbered card of him in our Don Russ Hobby Box. Seth Beer, top rookie. Jake Berger. Vidal Brujan. Rookie outfielders. You know, Matt Manning, Chaz McCormick. I'm pretty sure that if there was a high number or some sort of variation, they would be flipped backwards. But you can always check the back. It will tell you right around the number there if there was any kind of variation. Which, we didn't get any rookies. And, I mean, if we did get any vets, they're over there in the base pile. But... Thank you guys for watching. If you guys didn't check out that uh, Don Russ Hobby Box, man, that was a super fun one. I'm a big fan of Wander, so that was really, really cool to hit that card. And, uh, yeah, much love, everybody. I will catch you guys in the next one. Go hit that giveaway. Hit that like button if you're new. Peace.